you have to determine which are the most important and which are the ones you can actually address with where you can get a return in, in a reasonable period. Because what we're talking about here is not just solving the issues on the ground, but you actually have to solve issues which actually give a sense of hope that South Africa can once again recover into, into a country which can offer you know, growth, jobs, healthcare, poverty relief, et cetera, to the community at large. And so people need to see an issue being resolved, runs on the board, as it were. So I sort of think that you need to actually determine a strategic plan which says that we have these five key issues, whatever they are, whether it's, whether it's housing or own, property ownership, power to the people, education. Let's just choose those three as, a, as, 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 as big topics. Um, and I'm going to leave out general poverty and healthcare and stuff like that for the moment. And then you need to say, okay, so what can you do with, the, with these issues? What are the realistic things you can do which are not slaves to ideology, but which are slaves to practical delivery, where if you do something in a particular way, you know that you can add value to society, all of society, not preferring one over the other. Um, and, you know, so I've, I've spoken about what they can do with electricity. In my view, and let me, the heresy on, on, on land, I think it's, it, it's, it is unconscionable, the current situation of land ownership in the country. It can't prevail. But this idea that you have to fiddle with the constitution and create an amendment which is highly dangerous and highly speculative as to where it will end up as a solution is, is, to my mind, not true. You have sufficient land out there which is available to governments, whether they're, whether they're state governments or regional governments, to address the issue of people's ownership of land. 